Hello and welcome to my YouTube. My name is Karia and I am a street style photographer based in New York City. This past weekend was weekend one of Coachella, which is the Influencer Olympics. It is the fashion week of festival season. It officially kicks off the festival season and it just provides so much inspiration. Coachella kicks off festival season. It is the earliest and also one of the most like recognizable, well-known around the world. People fly in from all around the world, huge artists. It's such a big deal. I don't even know if I need to explain Coachella to you. You might already know. Well, I usually will do a lot of festival fashion, outfit content, trend reports, and just what people are wearing to festivals in like the summer and the festival season. I did not go to Coachella. I have never been to Coachella. I was actually supposed to go in 2020 and we all know. Um, but since then I have, haven't really made plans. I honestly am not like a huge like big festival person. If I do go to a festival, I prefer ones that are like in cities where I can easily leave if I need to. Just like the whole like a shuttle situation and being in the middle of the desert situation for Coachella just like isn't really my vibe. So I haven't been, but with Instagram, it's so easy to just check out what people are wearing. So it was the first weekend and I just perused all of Instagram, hashtags, a lot of influencers that I know and follow were also there. So I just did a lot of, uh, a lot of deep dive research and I screenshotted a bunch of looks and I made a folder in my phone. So many looks that I just screenshotted um, and just kind of like to study and start putting them into categories. And yeah, so I could talk about them. I think about two weeks ago, I did some predictions of what I thought were going to be like the big trends of Coachella. And I have to say a lot of them are right. Some of them weren't like 100% right, but uh, a lot of them were. So I feel validated in those predictions. So let's go ahead and take a look at the outfits and talk about the trends that I saw from over the weekend. It is Monday. It is a busy Monday already. So I'm going to be drinking my tea as we do this. So the overwhelming trend aesthetic, if you will, was cowgirl, a hundred percent. So many cowboy hats, so many cowboy boots, so many cowboy motifs, belts, necklaces, just everything. And I mean, the kind of like cowpoke Western wear aesthetic isn't anything new for festival season. Like it's always there, but like, especially this season, it is so strong. I've talked about this in other videos. I think it is definitely influenced by a lot of like pop culture and especially musical artists that are like kind of using Western motifs, Western wear, Western aesthetics in their current work. So think of Beyonce at first, like when she released Texas Hold'em, everybody's all right. It's it's country, it's country season, country music season. Um, and now, we, now with Cowboy Carter, um, there are also a bunch of other artists who like have this aesthetic as well, but I'm just thinking, you know, what is like such a huge cultural moment right now. So like I said, really big trends that I am seeing in so many of these photos are western hats cowboy hats some of them are raffia some of them are felted some of them are like really blingy with like bedazzling or fringe of course a lot of cowboy boots i mean boots for festivals i think are one of the most practical footwear choices i mean as long as they're comfortable otherwise like sneakers but like definitely boots and i think like in a outdoor setting kind of like in a giant field like coachella boots are just practical because you don't know if you're going to be walking through mud through dirt, whatever. Like I'm just scrolling through my like screenshotted safe folder and every other one is wearing cowboy boots. Well, either cowboy boots or biker boots, which, you know, kind of have like a similar um, like silhouette at least. Definitely am seeing a lot of red cowboy boots as well as like metallic and bejeweled cowboy boots. A lot of white cowboy boots too, I will say. So yeah, I'm gonna say the biggest trends are white, red, and then like bedazzled, blinged out metallic boots. And another trend that I am seeing is Western or like boho belts. I 100% called this and I am gonna be taking credit for this because I started seeing these belts popping up in stores that I knew that people would be buying festival outfits from, like Urban Outfitters free people. And I am seeing so many of these. So like the disc belts and the contra belts, this feels very like 2010s Vanessa Hudgens 
Coachella, to me, like, I don't know, that just, it reminds me a lot of that. Also kind of in like the Western wear, cowboy, cowgirl aesthetic, seeing a lot of denim vests or also some like denim corsets or like denim, like, kind of like tube top and then like a matching skirt or something. It's not necessarily like a new trend. We're seeing like these kind of pieces a lot, but they're still being worn. It's still trendy. There definitely seems to be like a sub set within like the Western cowgirl aesthetic, which is like the blingy glamorous cowgirl. So wearing like sequins and really like blingy rhinestone-y pieces with your cowboy boots and your cowboy hats. Um, and then there's some other aesthetics that are a little more like rustic. So you may be just wearing denim, leather, fringe, more like neutrals. Also a lot of crochet or lace, especially in white or other neutrals as well, like beige, tan, brown, black. Um, but yeah, definitely seeing a lot of just like neutral, kind of natural looking crochet and lace. Another big overall trend that I saw was definitely leaning into boho aesthetic and I feel like this is kind of like a blurred line between the western aesthetic. They have a lot of similarities when you think of like classic boho and classic western. Definitely seeing a lot of like long maxi skirts, prairie dresses and prairie skirts with like tears, again in like neutral colors, very like natural feeling. The western belts that I was talking about as well, like the disc belts, they also kind of feel like they go into like the boho aesthetic vibe. I kind of feel like you can easily kind of like toe the line between boho and western and it kind of probably depends on like how you accessorize it or like maybe like color choices if you're going for blingy versus more natural. Definitely think that there is a lot of mixing and matching between a lot of these aesthetics. Like definitely some people can be wearing like 100% just one aesthetic, but then there can be some like mixing and matching between all of them because if you think about it, like festivals, it's a community, you're sharing ideas sharing fashion ideas um you know you can kind of get inspiration from a bunch of different aesthetics and then another overall aesthetic trend that i am noticing with all these coachella looks is kind of i'm gonna call it desert fairy so it's kind of whimsical it's pretty girly it is shiny sparkly airy i feel like a lot of it is inspired by Lana Del Rey being there. A lot of the people that I saw posting their looks in this aesthetic were like calling it Lana Cella or like ready for Lana Del Rey. So seeing a lot of lace and tulle, pearls, lots and lots of pearls, bows. It's like airy pastel, very girly, florals. It's like, it kind of feels like it's edging on flower crowns. In my Instagram research, I also noticed a good amount of like pure raver looks of like kind of what we imagine of like traditional electronic music EDM festival wear. So to me that is like bodysuits and cat suits. Um, I saw a lot of them that were like kind of like meshy fishnet um, and colorful. It kind of feels like the entire outfit is a set. Like it all like goes together very consistently cohesively. And it also usually has like a very like futuristic feel. Also speaking of futuristic, one aesthetic that I did predict as well was Avant Apocalypse, which is kind of like dystopian futuristic, um, but like not so much like space age futurism, but more kind of like grungy, edgy, apocalyptic, you know. You know the vibes. I think this is best exemplified in Coachella fashion as people who are wearing like loose knitwear and crochet. They're maybe wearing like a lot of like wrapped layers, things that are kind of like asymmetrical, worn unexpectedly. Unexpected layering is kind of in my mind also what I associate a lot with avant apocalyptic fashion. A lot of these looks feel like they would be worn in Dune or the Mad Max series or also I'm watching the new Fallout series right now and I also feel like that is like that's what it is as well. It's funny because Fallout is like a mix of like Western and apocalyptic. So yeah, I think that we really should be getting some festival inspiration from Fallout. That's just me. Overall, I'm not too surprised by a lot of the outfits that I saw coming out of the first weekend of Coachella. A lot of this I predicted. I've seen a lot of these trends in street style over the last few seasons. A lot of them were also trendy last festival season. Coachella really does set the stage for the rest of the festival season, so I am interested how this is going to inspire 
the rest of the season, other festivals that people are going to. Let me know in the comments what you think about the first weekend of Coachella looks, what you think that we are gonna be seeing for weekend two, and just any other thoughts you have about festival fashion. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all those things. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.